Sports movies. They have a certain appeal that is sometimes hard to describe. Even if you don't like the sport, the movies are usually great to watch. And now Taiwan has given the world one of the most exciting basketball movies ever made. Hi, I'm the Arnie Dance from Asian Film Fans and welcome to this review of the Taiwanese sports drama We Are Champions, one of the best Asian sports movies I've ever seen. Before we get into the review, I just want to let you know about the platform I use to watch it and it's this, Smart Cinema USA. This is an app for your phone, both Android and iOS, that features some of the latest Asian movies fresh out of Asian cinemas for a low price. Watch movies directly on your phone whenever and wherever you want. As a bonus, movies can also be streamed to your TV using AirPlay and Chromecast functions. Use the link in our description to get 60% off the price of this movie or any other movie on the platform. Latest movies for just $2? Great value. Note this app is only available for US and Canadian viewers. If you live in Hong Kong, Korea, Taiwan or China, there is also a local version of the app available to you. Two basketball loving brothers lives divide after one of the brothers, played by Barat Ju, is offered a position on the basketball team of a prestigious high school, Yu Ying, a team that is going for a three-peat in the HBL championships. The other brother, played by Golden Horse winner Fandy Fan, wears a hearing aid due to an accident and suffers from bullying due to this, but decides to join the Quan Cheng high school team in the hopes of coming up against his brother to prove that he is the better player. Throughout the movie, we follow the trials and tribulations of both brothers as their experiences on their respective teams differ greatly. But when both teams meet each other in the HBL Championship, the brothers come head to head with an exciting showdown that you've come to expect from the sports movie genre. Absolutely. It might be a contrived take on the sports movie genre, but the personality of both brothers really shine on screen. Being teenagers, you'd expect a level of brooding and rebelliousness from the characters, but it doesn't really occur. They're respectful of their father, who's trying his hardest to provide for his two sons. They're respectful of their coaches and teammates, because they've made it clear early on that all they care about is basketball, about playing it, and being the best they can at it. And the basketball scenes are exciting to watch, mostly well choreographed, with only a few questionable scenes towards the end, they showcase the passion the two brothers have for the sport they love so much. The development of both brothers is carefully crafted and presented well on screen. There is more of a focus of the brother played by Fandy Fan. He joins the struggling high school Quan Cheng, who is about to disband their team. They've never won a championship game, yet have a strong and solid team. His inclusion makes that team just a little bit stronger. The audience is given an insight into this brother as we follow his budding relationship with a girl on the swimming team and his interactions with the team as a whole. We are witness to more of their camaraderie and challenges. Worth mentioning is the principal of Quan Cheng. She adds just the right level of both humor and motherly type support to the team, but at a very arm's length distance. She's their biggest cheerleader without any interference. Some of you will be here for the basketball action and for that you will be well rewarded. There are exciting highlights of games. From the two on two street game to the HBL championship matches, they are exciting and well supported by TV style commentary that provides context for viewers who aren't quite up to date with their basketball knowledge. This might be more of an issue with my understanding of Taiwanese high schools, and maybe I missed it, but there seems to be a massive gap in explaining where the boys are living once they join their individual high schools. There's also a gap in the storyline around the time of when the boys join the high school teams. It just seems to jump from one brother saying he's going to join one team who's headhunted him to the other brother joining his team, and that's it. There's just something missing there to help bridge the story. Also, some of the basketball choreography is a little stagnant, with players at times just standing still in their positions rather than playing the game and moving around. 
This only happens a few times, but it's enough to make it obvious to the viewer. I love sports films. I love the excitement of watching underdogs triumph, even if it's rather obvious what's going to happen. This is a teen drama at heart though, and a well-made one at that. My recommendation is, must watch. If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to support our channel.